Hi, this is Julie at Love's Beginning with a message called Beautiful and Delicious. Beautiful, delicious experience comes, and it's not because of your effort. It's not because you have become good enough. There is not one who has not had experiences like this. In these beautiful and delicious experiences, even if they only seem to last for a second or two, we feel one. We feel held. We feel carried. We feel loved and at ease. There is not one who doesn't have these experiences, even if they are brief, even if they are not noticed. That is why it is easy to call to the changeless mind in all, in any without exception. We are all joined in mind, and it is a beautiful changeless mind. If we recognize that this mind is our means of true communication, we drop all of the struggle. We allow ourselves to be guided through what seems to be change by the changelessness that we all share. There is no one who does not share our changelessness. Now you are seeing that you don't need to block any experience. The only thing you can invest your energy in blocking is the light. Truly, light is all there is. So notice when you are trying to block something or keep it away. Be honest with yourself. Notice that you are acting from a sense of change and vulnerability. Sit in a moment of intention to let go of the thinking that springs from this idea that circumstance can hurt you. Notice when you are trying to sort meaningless data to figure something out. And then I have, I made a video of myself drawing and talking about Changeless Mind as it was shown to me. So I will include that link. We invite you to observe the energy of struggle. If you experience the resonance of fighting ideas or conditions or even people in your personal experience in the mind when looking at others or when looking at the news, it's all the same thing. It's a reflection of how much you would fight to block the light. The only thing you need to do is recognize the fight, recognize it as yours and never anyone else's, and recognize the uselessness of the fight. When you recognize its uselessness, you drop it. When you drop it, you don't need a reflection. You don't need to help you feel anything to help you feel that resonance. But as long as you encounter something seemingly outside of you to help you feel that resonance, give thanks. It is helping you. At times it seems as if you can analyze the errors of another ego. It seems that you are able to know how those you call others should and shouldn't act. We give you the song which appears to be based upon egoic thought. And uh, this is a note from me. My daughter introduced me to this song, and I found myself singing happily with her to it in the van. I would think about what the lyrics seemed to say, what the attitude of the singer seemed to be, but I was directed to something deeper, and in that release into something deeper, there was joy and no judgment. So this is by Olivia Rodrigo, and I will include the link in the description. What a beautiful job of free expression, allowing thoughts out into the light, allowing listeners to feel how they harbor and believe similar thoughts. Up and out. Egoic thoughts don't have to be hidden. They are never hidden anyhow, even if they aren't spoken. They can always be felt. And then what beams through ego suggestions? The music, the spirit that the singer is, Ego suggestions are transparent, and it's so easy for the light and the joy to shine right through them. The surface seems like something you could judge or categorize, but if you don't judge, if you don't take the bait, it's just beautiful light shining, released to beam right through anything that would seem to stand in its way. Allow the whole world to teach you to tune into the light that is released when you agree to see it. In this way you relax out of judgment and into trust, and you shine. You shine because you agreed to see everyone shining with you. 
we shine in eternal thanks for what we are with you. Thanks for listening.